Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey, and today we're going to upgrade the SSD in the Asus ROG Ally X without losing your data. Here is what you're going to need. First, obviously you're going to need an Asus ROG Ally X. Next, you're going to need a new SSD drive. The Ally X accepts 2280 sized M2 drives, and personally, I'm upgrading right to a four terabyte drive. Once again, I'll leave links to this drive and others in the description so you don't have to worry about what to buy for compatibility. Then you're going to need an M.2 enclosure, and this is for connecting the M2 SSD to the Ally for cloning. Now this tends to go out of stock, so I'll leave a link to a few different options in the description, just in case. Lastly, you'll need a Phillips Zero screwdriver for opening the actual device, and as well a little pick or spudger to kind of separate the back shell from the front. So two different things. Alright, so let's get started. I would suggest keeping your ally plugged in and set to turbo mode throughout, so it doesn't die and it goes faster. One other note here. If there is any space you can free up before doing this, I would suggest you do so. My full one terabyte drive took almost 10 hours to clone. That is a very long time. So if you can cut down at all on that time, you should try. I've done some tests and I've basically clocked it at 100 gigabytes of storage used per hour is the equation. So if you have 500 gigabytes used, it's going to take five hours and so on. Okay, so let's head to Windows Start Menu and search for Device Encryption, and you want to open it. Go ahead and disable Device Encryption. After you've swapped SSDs, if you want, you can re-enable this. Next, we need to download a program called Macrium Reflect. Head to the Macrium website, click Products, then Macrium Reflect Home. Click Free Trial and then 64-bit. You now need to create a login, or login with Google at the bottom. Pro tip, if you've used this before and you don't have an email address to use, just do the period trick for emails. I'll leave a link to what that means for those that don't know in the description. Once you register, it's going to email you, and then just activate. Come back here and log in, and it should automatically start downloading Macrium. Open it and go through the setup. It's going to ask for your email at some point, so just enter that. You can do all default settings and just keep clicking next throughout. Once it's installed, you're going to have to restart and then we'll be ready for the next step. Connect your new SSD to the enclosure. First things first, let's make sure that your drive is recognized and initialized. Head to Windows Start Menu, type Disk Management and open it. If this is a brand new drive, you're likely going to get a pop-up asking to initialize the disk. Leave it as GPT and click OK. You should now see the disk in the list and you're all set to go ahead. Open up Macrium Reflect and you'll be on the home page and it should show you any disks that are connected, including your SD card if you're using one. It should be pretty easy to tell what's what just based off of sizes and partitions. Under the disk that you want to clone from, so the one terabyte ROG Ally X disk, select clone this disk. Next, you want to select what to clone to. So select that and select the SSD that you connected. Now you want to select copy partitions and expand length to fit. It should automatically expand the right partition to fit your new drive size, and that would be the C drive, and that's what mine did. However, in case it doesn't, select the partition that should be expanded, so the C drive, and then the layout wrench on the right, and you can expand it there. But hopefully yours expanded and you can tell by the size of the C drive. Go ahead and click next, and then next again to skip scheduling, and then start and yes to any warnings about things being formatted. Now, once again, I warned you before, but depending on how much data you have on this drive, it's going to do its thing. My drive was full with all one terabyte used, and it took 10 hours to do this. Don't say I didn't warn you about this ahead of time. 
Once all of that's done, safely eject, turn off the ally, and it's time for surgery. I'm going to be using my iFixit kit here, and I'll link that in the description, but you don't need to have this. I used the Phillips Zero screw bit to take the six back screws off, but it's important to note that the middle bottom screw does not come out. So loosen it as much as you can and it'll be fine. Once you fully remove the other five screws, use a pick, or I'll use the pick from my kit, to get in from the top where the triggers are to slowly separate the back shell. Just be careful and go slowly uh, to pop it off. You want to avoid going really hard on this and pulling it right off, as there's a ribbon cable attached to the macro buttons on the back shell. And if you pull way too hard, you could snap that ribbon cable. Personally, I didn't bother detaching the ribbon cable after. I just made sure to be careful and have the back shell resting on the side. But feel free to detach the cable if you feel safer doing that. You can see the SSD is right there above the battery. So let's remove that screw that's holding it in. Then you can move the battery cable slightly out of the way, but just pull the SSD out slow. Go slowly and pull from the right. Remove the shielding from the drive. We're going to reuse it for the new SSD that we put in. Go ahead and slide the new SSD into the slot, just horizontally and slowly, as usual. Put the screw back in that holds the SSD in place. Carefully reconnect the shell, everything should just click into place. Double check all of the seams around to make sure they're all snapped in. Then just re-screw the five back shell screws into place, and then the middle bottom screw. This next part is important. Make sure that you connect to power or the X won't turn on. Then just turn it on, and you should be exactly at the same spot that you were in before the swap. If you head over to File Explorer, you can see all of your awesome new space ready to be used. With that, we are done with this one, so enjoy your larger hard drive. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow. Come join me on the Discord to talk about all these handhelds. Support me on Patreon if you like my stuff, and hope you all have a good one.